because he actually tries to apply his favorite word alaka as a multi-layer, multifunctional word, which can mean different things, and all of them are wrong. So one of the things it can mean is a leech. Let's take a look at a leech, the medicinal leech. Uh, but why the medicinal leech? Does the Quran say anything about a medicinal leech? No? Well, why not? Because worms or leeches come in different sizes, shapes and colors. And the Quran does not specify whether it's a worm, a leech or a blood clot. So which one does the embryo look like? At what stage is the embryo supposed to look like a leech? From what day to what day? Come on, you say this is scientifically accurate, so where's the scientifically accurate data? All Hamza has is one single word, alaka, which he says meant blood clot at some stage, and at some stage it magically transformed into leech. But why not worm? Because all a leech is, is a blood-sucking worm. Does an embryo suck blood? Is it like a worm? No. Does it feed on blood like a leech? No. Blood is a transport mechanism in the human body. The leech increases body size 10 times when drinking blood or sucking blood. Does an embryo do this? No. The leech is approximately, what, 13 centimeters long. Is the embryo? No. It's two or three centimeters long. Posterior and anterior suckers. Does an embryo have this? No. It has 60 to 100 teeth. Does an embryo have teeth? No. A leech I mean, it secretes a substance called hirudin. Does a, <laughs> a leech secretes a substance called hirudin? Does an embryo secrete any substance called? <laughs> no, it does not. The leech clings to its brain. It attaches to the outer skin. An embryo does not cling, it floats. And it does not attach to outer skin. The leech lives in fresh water, <laughs> the embryo does not. It, the leech spends most of the time buried in muddy bottom of a pond. It has five pairs of eyes. Have you ever seen an embryo with five pairs of eyes? Or chemoreceptors near the head like the leech? Leeches breed in summer. An embryo I don't think does. Another feature of a leech is that it lays eggs. I have never seen an embryo lay a single egg. And the worst thing is, all leeches are hermaphroditic. In other words, they are both male and female. They are not created in pairs as male or female. So the leech is probably the worst example for Quranic veracity that you could have chosen, you oaf. I mean, this is an embryo at around 40 days when it is four or five centimeters long. Does it look like a leech? These are the stages of an embryo. Where does it look like a leech? In the real world out here, a human embryo results from a cell, the ovum, being fertilized by a sperm cell. Any mention of this by Hamza? 